somebody's hot rod dreams from back in the day. So I'm back today to Yates Center, Kansas, and this was Fred Brilke's old tow yard, bone yard, used car lot, and this is the fourth video in the series here. We've gotten a lot of big progress made since the last time I showed you guys the lot here. They've been cleaning up and a lot of the trees have been coming down. These cars are getting pulled out into rows and he's got them priced. It's kind of an oddball one. This is the Buick GS California two-door post car. Unfortunately, pretty hammered on that driver's side. Kind of an oddball car if anybody needs parts. They're getting them pulled out, rowed up. I was first out here in 2012 into 2013 in the winter, and there were 1,200 cars out here, 1,250, and guy around in the area had made a deal with Fred to scrap some out, and he ended up scrapping, I believe, about 700, and I was out here for several weeks, turned into months, pulling parts, and then it kind of sat dormant for a bit. Fred sold a few here and there. Trees kept growing bigger. And then Fred passed, I believe 2021, 20, 2022, 20, somewhere in there. And then his family sold a few vehicles and then that put him in touch with Scott. And Scott's been the new owner of the property here for a few months. So that's why there's a little bit of a span of time in between this video and those earlier videos because he had made the deal on it and so I wanted to kind of give him the chance to get a little bit of breathing space to get in here and get some trees down and just get these rowed up to where they're a little more accessible. He's got a wheel loader out here and there's also a couple skid loaders of the guys that are rowing the trees up. You see there's a big pile of them back there they've got going and they're working diligently out here in the heat. It's about 105 degrees today. So any of these that you see that have an R on the windshield, they have been sold. And any of these, a lot of the rougher stuff parts cars start in the $800 range. Ones that are a little more unique like the Snash. See a lot of them in the $1,500 range. So far there's been about 120, he says, have sold as of now. Javelin's been sold. But there's just a whole bunch of them available and ready to be bought. So in the video description box, I'll have Scott's contact information and you get a hold of him. Come out here pretty much on the weekend is when he's available. So a lot of these are just a little difficult to really see where they were. 
and those earlier videos with the trees around them and so now being pulled out like this kind of see a lot better this is kind of a neat one this Fraser and I believe this is a fairly rare car that's toward the end of production I want to say 51 was the last year you could get a Fraser and then they just shifted to only Kaiser production kind of a neat car those are aftermarket tail fins on there so one of the ones on one of the last videos you guys called me out and that was fair I did completely skip this 55 Pontiac it's got the cool overrider accessory grill guard and it does have the optional light up hood ornament that one's got like a cold war era long range bomber theme with a indian head integrated into it pretty neat car four-door sedan really solid it's still got the rocker panels in it so there's a 47 chevrolet that one's got the front wing tips there's one out back that had the rear wing tips fifty one four door this is a forty eight that's been hit in the front. Looks like that one's sold. Here's this Oldsmobile. Some of you guys are saying that might be a forty eight. hundred and five out so I'm gonna do the best but this camera doesn't love heat necessarily it kind of shut down after a while it's like a 52 Ford Grand Dragon it's another 55 Pontiac four-door sedan 49 Chrysler Coupe Hudson's 52 or 3 maybe. Old 46 DeSoto. That one's sold. Forty six Plymouth. Fifty one Mercury. This 50 Chevrolet, it's got the wing tips. Those are kind of a rare accessory. Four-door fastback. I'd kind of been casually looking for those wing tips when I had that black fastback. And for whatever reason, the 49 and 50 wing tips are way, way harder to find than the 51 and 52. 51 Mercury. Another one of these Chevy two door fastbacks. 49. This old Studebaker. That's kind of an odd one. It's a two door, but it's not the real swoopy body. It's got the roof line that the four door had. So that'd be, somebody help me out in the comments. 54 Commander, maybe a 55. Another 47 Chevrolet. Somebody's moved 
two hood ornaments onto the fenders and made them fender ornaments. 50 Dodge. It's one of the bubble body Packards. Over in the one corner of the woods is where this blue 64, 5, or 6 Chevrolet came from. Now these trucks, pretty much identical those three years, except for the front fender emblems. This one's got the bow tie up at the top. Looks like he's at 1800 on that. That's really decent buildable truck. Kind of like that one. 49, 50 Ford F2, which is their three quarter ton. 55 Chevy four door. And this 67 Impala I showed on that earlier video. That one's been sold. There's a two door hard top out here and a four door post, but no four door hard tops. I'll catch that four-door post in just a bit. That'd be a really good parts car if somebody's building a Supernatural Caprice and looking for all the Impala trim to put over onto it. So the International 200 looks like it's sold. 53 Buick four-door, 41 Ford Super Deluxe four-door. We've got a... 31 Model A. They had two different bodies of these. There's a Briggs and a Murray. And this one you can see obviously is the one with the structural wood. I can never keep them apart, but the one with the structural steel is kind of the more desirable. And Model A market in general is pretty soft right now so this one's going to be strictly a parts car in this condition 52 i believe mercury two-door coupe and then it's stable mate yellow ford mainline another 49 chrysler back there and it looks like they've moved this ford unibody truck up from the back that's kind of a neat one long bed but it is the custom cab with the big back glass just a really really unique neat old truck well 65 or 6 New Yorkers All oh, this wood's pretty cleaned out. There were a lot of these 50s Chevy trucks over in the one corner, but most of them look kind of about like that. Pretty boned down. Oldsmobile two-door. believe this one is a 1950. These trucks, I think this Chevrolet is a nine foot bed. It's just a little longer than the eight. Old 3800, not sure on that one, 48 or nine, I believe with the pull down door handles. Jail bar Ford for a thousand, that's a ton and a half I think it's got the big five lug bolt circle fifty four I think Dodge that was a V8 truck this was one of the neater Chevy pickups that's that old US Army truck
57 Ford wagon. That was one of Fred's favorite cars. I kind of liked it too. Pretty appealing colors. Two-tone green and white. Another 55 Chevy. Somebody back in the day radius the wheel arches. 51 Ford four door. Another 52. 55, I think, Mercury. Fifty two Dodge. That's a fastback car. Real similar to the Chevrolets of the era. Ford never jumped on that bandwagon. You see, obviously the Chevrolet design was a little more appealing to people. So these Dodges don't get near the interest that the Chevrolets do. This old Mercury 57, I think. That was probably a cream puff car. Driven till 73. With McPherson County plates on it. So it traveled a ways to end up down here. That lavender paint on there, just a real subtle color. Two-toned with the white. There's a Plymouth row. Now these are all 57s. Two-door post, but that's got the Belvedere two-door side moldings on it. So any of these, even if they're too rusty to build, you look at what some of these parts are bringing these days, and there's definitely some value here just in stainless, and there's some good sheet metal. Like those two have really nice hoods on them. It's a four-door post, four-door sedan. Savoy, I think that's right. 55 Dodge. And that's 57 Belvedere. That's that four door hard top. That was kind of one of my favorite cars. It's just neat old body. Kind of uncommon. 52 custom line or 53 I guess So we have a Buick Electra four-door six window hardtop That's the Electra 225 Then we have regular Electra four window hardtop, which is the flat top And then this, I believe, is a LeSabre. I remember that other video, you guys were kind of excited about the 59 Buicks. So on the Out of the Woods video here, I wanted to be sure and show them among everything that's been pulled out of the woods. Something corrosive on the back of this one kind of ate that roof up and really ate it all the way along. It's kind of a shame because of the three, that's probably the most desirable body style. And it did hit a wall there and scarred that fender up pretty good. There's other cars out here wrecked a lot worse than that. 
being out here on the highway, Fred had the wrecker service. He'd pull a lot of wrecks in off the highway. I believe they're keeping this one. New owner Scott does have a body shop and probably like any of us has intentions of working on some personal projects. And he bought the whole yard, so he's kind of got the prerogative to choose. 60 Mercury, Montclair, Fort Or Post, 58 Mercury, Monterey, Fort Or Post, 52 Ford, two door hardtop. And here's a third, 55 Pontiac, four-door sedan. Now this car is a Star Chief, so it's got a little fancier side trim, and then down on the quarters, it's got that rear washboard around the wheel opening. Pretty neat car. They did have here in Yates Center a Buick Oldsmobile, sorry, a Buick Pontiac dealership. Say that looking at a 56 Oldsmobile. So the Buick Pontiac dealership was Cantrell, and unfortunately that building's been demolished, but there's a lot of cars sold there that made it here to Fred's. 56 Olds is actually four-door hardtop. It's kind of neat. 56 Ford, four-door sedan, another 55 Mercury, Montclair four-door sedan, and a 57 Ford four-door sedan. Sixty three Falcon four door. For some reason, I really like this sixty two olds. It was just kind of neat because it was the plain eighty eight two door hardtop, very little side moldings. It was a two tone car. Just neat because most of these you see are. Higher trim level, Super 88, Dynamic 88, 98 Holiday, but that's just the plain, plain old 88. '61 Buick, four-door hardtop. That's a neat car. Pretty straight. A couple more '57 Fords. Four-door sedan and a two-door sedan. Another 51 Ford four-door. 57 Olds four-door sedan. These had that real neat three-piece rear glass. It gave the car Really a massive reinforced look. There's a lot of style in that car. 1968 Chevelle sedan. 68 two-door hard top. It's gone now, but there was a Mustang Fastback that was about this wadded up. 64 Chevelle, four-door sedan for parts. 65 Impala, four-door sedan. This is that 67 four-door sedan so this car if 
a guy had a Caprice and was wanting to put all the Impala stuff on it. It's got a lot of really good parts. All your side trim, all your dash trim, rear bumper ends, your deck lid trim. And there's a lot of pretty nice parts just in general. The front fenders, the hood, front bumper, the grill. A lot of real good pieces on that one. The raccoons have kind of got the interior. But that one's all pretty undisturbed, except for the pieces of glass, which not a big deal if it's getting parted for a hard top. Another 65 or 6 New Yorker. That one's still got the engine in it. What would that be, 413 or 440? I know that 67 I had, it was a 440 car. But I'm drawing a blank on when they quit the 413, but it was right around this time. There's a 69 four-door sedan, Chevelle Malibu. Pretty complete with a lot of good usable parts. Seventy-three, seventy-four Nova, four-door. Sixty-three Nova, Chevy two. I think that's right. No, oh, sixty-two. So that's the very first year. Pretty solid straight car. 59 Biscayne. That one lost its front clip. Still for 1500. A lot of usable parts on that one. You dash your rear end. 63 or 64 Nova. That's a five lug car. Sixty-eight C ten short bed step side. Sixty-three Impala. Not an SS. This is the good side. And this is the bad side. Although Lots of good pieces on that one. The lifted four-wheel drive Chevy is out and available. Short bed step side. Dalton at Pole Barn Garage got a hold of a real rusty one of those and got connected up with LMC and got a lot of parts and he's got a pretty cool rebuild going of that one. This one's probably in better shape than the one he started with. 37 through 40 International. Big truck. And then a 41 to 6 Chevrolet. Big truck. There's the outback section. Not a lot that's old in there, but there are a few. 53 Chevy, 54s. They're working this way with the equipment. A lot of these we showed in that first drive around video in the woods. So if you're 
seeing this place for the first time, definitely go back and check out those other videos. 63 Bel Air four-door sedan, 63 Biscayne wagon. This one was from down in the corner and decades back some kids got in and broke some glass in that corner. So unfortunately, every piece in this wagon's out of it. Blackberry vines have gone crazy. Fifty seven Studebaker four door sedan. I think that's a neat car. 58 two-door hardtop would be kind of my dream Studebaker if one ever turned up. That one's pretty close. 68 Bel Air four-door sedan. 65 Impala two-door hardtop. 800 on that one. 62 Impala four door sedan sold. 58 Delray four door. 51 Ford. The 66 Biscayne, it was kind of one of my favorites. It's kind of neat because it was the old. Highway car. Fifty five Ford two door sedan. Fifty eight Chevy two door sedan. Back ten years ago when I was parting stuff out of these that they were crushing at the time, I got most of a factory AC system out of a 58 that went to California. 59 Ford Galaxy four door sedan, 55 two door ranch wagon. Fifty five olds eighty eight. Four-door sedan, another 58 Chevy, that's a Bel Air four-door sedan, kind of hard to see, 62s, some of these we showed in that last video, 63 Buick Wildcat, Trucks kind of close to Uncle Jesse's from Dukes of Hazard because it was a short bed. 77 Small Fury. That was like the Hazard County Patrol car. 's a snova 66 or seven that one sold it went all the way in the woods I'll have to ask if that Talladega found a buyer or not 64 fury four-door hard top. That's really a neat one. Front bumper guard, hardly ever see. And a hard top, just pretty uncommon car. 2 door Grand Fury 
missing a fender. The hood for it was laying over by one of the trees. Sixty-eight Ford with the hideaways. Sixty-three, believe Mercury. They're getting real, real close. Being finished getting the trees down and getting the cars rode up. This is another section. Sixties Pontiac, some fifties Pontiac, some fifties Olds. That's the goal, and they're working pretty quick to get there. There's that 58 Imperial, 59 I guess. But yeah, I had intentionally, that's a 59 there, that's a 58 that's nosed up. I had intentionally kind of waited a while to come back here just to give them some time to really get them road. When a car's sitting in the open, you can tell a lot better what you're looking at versus trying to stomp weeds down and guess what's on the other side of trees. So another 58, 64 Impala four-door, 63 Impala four-door, 61 Biscayne four-door, two of them. The 62 Biscayne, 1200 bucks. Get a front clip on there. The rest of that body, really decent. And the 63 Bonneville, that was on my list of favorites. Really, really neat car. There's the back of the Biscayne. I mean, that's good builder car. Back in this area, 59 Ford, 63. Another 64 Mercury. Sixty-nine Ford, sixty-six, bunch of these fifties, Buicks, fifty-nine Fords, Studebaker two-door wagon still here, fifty-six Buick, down in this row. 61 Fords, two-door hardtop, box top. 61, you had choice of either the box top or the Starliner, but there were two individual unique two-door hardtops available that year. Fairlane four-door sedan. Fairlane 500, 59 Ford Custom, two-tone four-door sedan, and a 62 Galaxy Sunliner, it's still here. Fifty-five Chevy Wagon Derby cars here. This one would just make such a neat display piece. That would make cool attention getter. Put it out somewhere. International KB truck. kind of missed this the last time, but there's a 56 Buick two-door hardtop. That 
since the century. Pretty common back in the day, the farmers would build hay wagons just by cutting the spindles off and they'd weld them on a trailer frame. Back in the day before you just go buy trailers, people pretty much built them. There's the Cantrell's dealer logo. That whole car started its life here in the county and still here. 55 Ford town sedan, that was an overdrive car. 54 Ford two-door hardtop. 54 was your first year of the Y block. Salmon pink, pretty attractive color for that old car. One of my favorites, this is a 67 Comet, two-door hardtop. Just super straight, super solid car. Crazy thing is, is it had a vinyl top and that roof stayed perfect under the vinyl top. This one's been sold. I was kind of a flip of the coin on this or that AMC and I chose the AMC just because it had the four speed that was really unique. Fifty five Buick Roadmaster two door hard top. I guess it's a super yellow and black two tone on it. Real attractive colors. I really dig that car. Fifty five Fords. Fifty seven. Two-door hardtop, Fairlane 500. And that one's kind of a hidden gem. Here's a 56 Roadmaster, four-door hardtop. That's a real neat car. More 57 Fords. Well, this Fairlane has got the real rare full front bumper guard. I've seen ones with the center guard, but I don't think I've ever seen in person the outer ends. That's a pretty nice find. Sixty Pontiac two door hard top. It's sold. Neat car. Fifty eight Chrysler. There's some more. Mopars. I want to say every Plymouth out here of this body style is a 57. I don't think there are any 58s. That's a four door sedan. 56 Dodge four door sedan. 55 Plymouth. Oh, it's got the Power Flight automatic. 57 DeSoto. Fire Dome. 
Firefly. Gotta look because it's broke off. Firefly. This one's supposed to be a Hemi car. That is still in it. Four barrel carb. So there you go, 57 DeSoto Hemi car. Four door sedan. 61 Plymouth, two door sedan. That's a neat one. The 67 Coronet, four door sedan. A lot of people get confused on these. The 440 was the model series, not the engine. A lot of people open the hood and they see a 318 and then they read the badge. That's a 318 car. Couple of these 67 to 72 trucks. I think the other one was a white GMC. That's 55 Plymouth. That one's marked overdrive badge on it. It's pretty complete. That's a V8 car, too. What a deal. 53 Ford truck. I didn't show a lot of the trucks on the earlier video, so I do want to make sure catch a few of them back here. EMC. 56, 57, been there a long time. Got the tree all the way up through. The Chevrolet is decent. That's a 38. Sat here a long time though. 51 or two Ford. A lot of these trucks, they got pretty picked apart. Fifty six Buick. That's a real attractive color combo. 56th century four-door hardtop, blue on blue. Wrecked 58. Another one of these 50s GMCs. All of them given up some parts over the years. So a couple interesting stories from back 10 years ago when I was out here. Out in these rows of trucks, there was like a 71 Pento. And that car had been wrecked with like 8,000 miles on it. And I saved the front bumper and the rear bumper. They were really good shape i still have them i debated saving the engine but it wasn't a 2.3 it was just the base whatever they came with two liter i believe that one went away and then back down deeper end of the woods there's kind of a waterway that runs and Decades back, probably in the 60s, there was a fire in Yates Center down in the downtown. And so a lot of the debris and stuff 
they just came and stuck out here just to get rid of it kind of as a place to dump it and a buddy of mine found a old western auto sign that was one of the circle arrow type ones and amazingly the porcelain enamel didn't get super super hot and it was mangled up more from being shoved in the woods but it didn't have a lot of fire damage but we did save that out of the woods which was kind of cool some 40s fords i believe that's a 46 coupe and there's a two-door sedan and this old studebaker truck that's still got the bed on it Let's see if i can sneak around and get a better view of that other side Hey, how's it going? <laughs> That's got that cool grill guard. That's a neat truck. Not too many imports out here. It's 80s Mercedes. He did do body work and repair, and so there are a range of bumpers and parts and stuff left over from that time. A few others. There's a Volkswagen Rabbit pickup. Very, very straight. And then there's a couple of these convertibles as well. That gray one's been hit in the back, and it's kind of tweaked. Yellow one's fairly decent believe the rambler from my understanding is getting traded to the tree guy so he'll get a little something out of the deal for his help clearing the property neat old relic is 37 i think ford vintage dirt track car this one's pretty used up, but still probably enough there and straight enough a guy could make some sort of a build to put this back on the road. If not on the road, maybe on the track again. I was seeing there was a track up in Iowa where they're racing vintage class cars a lot of 50s and 60s cars something like this even if you just threw an engine in it and made it run and drive and stop around the yard it'd be kind of an interesting nostalgia trip or just do nothing and unload it and leave it as a good piece of yard art conversation piece Anything but a restoration at this point. Then an oddball that I missed all my trips here, except for this one, because I got it spotted and found and pulled out. This is an old Dodge pickup. Somebody swapped a Hemi into it. Kind of an interesting truck, old green five window. There was an old TV repair truck back in the day. Front clips probably not terribly difficult to find for it. I don't know what's stuck in the bed for pieces. Yeah, fenders and a grill at least. Scare up a hood for it and a few other little knickknacks and this thing probably could be a truck again. I would guess early 50s with the two barrel on there. Who knows, sitting out in the weather, what shape that thing will be in. See they cut the firewall out and moved it back. 
and then they built their own mounts just probably whatever shop scrap they had laying around it is a little off center which is kind of odd somebody's hot rod dreams from back in the day couple 50 DeSotos probably either of them very buildable cars both super straight complete Any of the guys in the early 50s Mopar cars, these would be pretty decent ones to get a hold of. And they've pulled the antique Ford milk truck out. This is, I believe, like a 40 or 41, three quarter ton. Even if you didn't rebuild it, this would be a neat truck just to set out somewhere and put some billboards on and it'd be the perfect attention getter. Then if anyone's interested in an old wrecker to put back to work, this was one of Fred's trucks that he used. Toward the end of his career, he did get a roll back with a flatbed on it and that's kind of what he finished with so this chevy's probably been 20 years off the road at least would be my guess but still could be rehabbed and put back to work